Hey guys, it's Mel and I am so excited to post this today and share this with all of you. So I have been behind the scenes working on some really great content for the Millennial Podcast with Billy and also Mel's Mindful. Notice I say Mel's Mindful instead of Monday's Mindful because many of you know that I haven't been consistent every Monday and I think that I've been struggling with keeping myself in that box and that time frame with the pressure. Um, I'm working on other discipline and routines in my life that this one is one of them that is hard to keep as well. So instead, I'm a problem solver and I am going to just, you know, flip the ring light on and start recording throughout the week, not just on Mondays. So I've switched the name because I know that it was something that I just really couldn't keep up with and I wanted to, and I want to be more spontaneous, which in fact was the original purpose of the Millennial Podcast. When I first started in 2019 and was asked by Flora Pastorero when she started Chick to Chick to do this podcast and be spontaneous, and they wanted me to share my stories and just come home, um, you know, whether it's something that has happened to me or just different events that I want to share and just pop that ring light on and hit the record button. And here we are. How many years later? Now I'm finally actually coming to the realization that that is what is going to work for me. So thank you, Flora. And I apologize for taking so long here, but I posted on Instagram this morning. If you follow me on Instagram, my page is public. It's M-M-M-A-D-E-T-O-K-E-P, which is basically my initials made to keep. Um, if you want to follow me on my personal page uh, to just see some of my journey, which is also what I'm going to be sharing here, but uh, my initials MMM and basically made to keep at the end. Uh, the millennial obviously is our Instagram handle, and we are going to be beefing that up this year as well with a lot of this content and breaking up our podcasts into down into 60 second segments. But if you did see my post this morning, I posted a quote and I just wanted to share. Um, it looks like this. And it says, you're not really free until you're free from trying to please everybody. And I also added, if you try to please everybody, you end up pleasing nobody, least of all yourself. And a little tidbit that I added, which was, I'm really excited to share a, a post today about the millennial and to um, really understand that the people that are true value in your life don't really care about the stuff or things that you have. It's really about your heart and your soul. And I will dive into that a little bit more. And the reason why I put that was I was listening to a couple podcasts lately, which I do want to share with everybody because I've been able to really share those with people who have started to listen to them. And a lot of the quotes that I've been posting really over the last year, people have been reaching out to me about, they can see that I've been going through a lot of growth personally and professionally, a lot of inner work that I'm doing. And the people that I am, you know, I have been reaching out to as mentors or, um, you know, other people have just been, I've been attracted to them uh, because of what they're going through. And there's a lot of people that have been attracted to me because of what I'm going through. And that's what I want to focus on. And that's what I'm here to do. And I really feel like I've leaning into some of the gifts and uh, purpose of this podcast and things that I want to do in sharing my story to help other people. So the podcast that I was listening to this morning, uh, Danny Morell, he made a comment about dropping the mask. And I think that what a lot of us do is we hide behind a mask and no, no pun intended, you know, masks that have been really constricting, um, you know, in a lot of ways and have caused a lot of problems uh, in our um, world today, but the mask that we hide behind that we don't want people to see the truth about ourselves. And I am so tired of wearing a mask. And I really have been able to share a lot behind that with the people that are closest to me and my counselor and, um, you know, mentors. And I'm just really having the urge to share it with everybody else. And I know that it's helping people because I get texts from people that say that some of my posts or my quotes or things that I share on the podcast have helped them. And I think it's just a really great feeling. And I want to really explore this. And um, another 
podcast that I was listening to actually was more of a webinar, uh, Brandon Bouchard, if any of you follow him. Uh, Brendan was talking about caring way too much about what other people think. And really that has held me back for over five years after my divorce, after I couldn't keep my retail shop in Linglestown. A lot of you know I had a made to keep boutique um, and I have been struggling significantly ever since then. I'm doing a lot of the work on myself and figuring out why and really starting a new chapter to move on and let that go. Uh, he talked about really this thing that that holds us back and it creates procrastination and it creates self-doubt. And a lot of us have been talking about imposter syndrome lately. Um, and I've really enjoyed talking with people about that because it is so true. And to be very honest, a lot of the things that I have spoken with people about, there are so many people going through the same thing, but we're trying to do it alone. And that has been one of my just biggest hurdles as well, is not leaning into other people who are going through the same thing to create a support system and a community. And that's what I want to do. And I know that we have the platform here and we have the ability to share stories and have people you know, come on as guests to share their stories. And when we really stop ultimately really, really caring, we are going to care what people think in a certain way, but not to the effect that it is going to cause us to not do the things that we want to do and be the people that we want to be because of that. And I posted about the millennial um, spreading its wings to fly. And I really do also think that is about me and the things that I'm going through as well. I have uh, really done some inner work and things that have to do with my childhood and that have to do with my family. And that if, um, you know, I, I, I truly believe in generational trauma and breaking cycles, which is what exactly I am doing. And I don't want to be afraid to share this anymore. I have absolutely um, held back in fear of maybe what people would think or what my family would think or, um, you know, in a sense, what my people, you know, it, Brendan actually said it in, in his webinar about people making fun of us or, you know, people laughing at us or thinking that we're stupid or, you know what, I don't care anymore. I literally dropped this fear and I've become somewhat fearless in talking about these things that I've done because I have leaned into my faith and spiritually I know what has helped me and is helping other people that I believe in myself, I trust myself and I love myself. And that is ultimately, I think what a lot of people are lacking. I'm still working on it. I'm not perfect. I still have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work to do. But this process and our self-growth has to start somewhere. And I think that we just have to look at where our feet are planted and just taking one step. And it's our feet and just literally looking at where we are, stopping to compare the Instagram reels and the highlight reels. And I'm actually um, you know, going to start putting out some more things that are a little bit you know, more me, um, more authentic. I mean, I post a lot of things that sure it's a highlight reel. I don't deny that it's my trips and you know I, I I love to you know do photo shoots and I love to put out pictures that um you know are are absolutely a a a, a positive uh look at my life uh in a certain way and purposeful but uh that doesn't mean that there's struggle behind that there's not struggle um because there is and I just really want to Put more of this out there. I've been getting some Instagram messages and DMs, some of the things with, you know, tell me more or, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm curious about this. Can we meet up and talk about this? You know, I'm intrigued by this or, hey, um, you know, I really, really would love the book that you're posting. What is the, you know, what is that book? And all these little things have just led me to really want to embrace what this podcast originally was about which was sharing my journeys and my stories to help other people. And I am so thankful that Billy came on as a co-host in the time that I really needed, or I just don't think this would have ever continued back in 2020. Uh, so I have to 
absolutely thank him for coming on. He created his segments that he does in the finance world. And he is such a great director and, um, you know, operator behind the scenes when we are doing the podcast and getting some really great guests. And what the best thing that I, I knew that we were going to have a successful future with this podcast in that we need to be more consistent and we need to do more social media as we've talked about. We need to really get get more content, which is exactly what uh, I'm doing and going to start to bring on some really great guests and be um, more, more, um, you know, vulnerable with some of the things that are going on in my life that I want to share as part of my process, but also to help people. But we really, um, we really need needed to sit down and make a plan. And we are doing that. And it is just, it has gone from something that, you know, was, was kind of just for fun. Um, and it still is for fun. But I think now having a purpose and the why we've talked about so much about what is our purpose uh, personally. And I'm really leaning into that, you know, finding purpose, finding our superpowers, finding our gifts, talking about jobs versus our gifts and what we're meant to give to the world. And there's just a lot that I, I, you know, I really, I want to share and I want to help people. So with that said, um, I really just wanted to explain some of that. Uh, there's been some really life changing events for me that I've, I've been avoiding for a long time. And I die, I just really started to dive in to why I've been avoiding them. We have to ask why, and we have to really know a lot of the reasons for some of the triggers and some of the avoidances and the fears. I, I don't think that there's anybody out there that I know that I've even talked to that doesn't have fear of you know failure, fear of success, fear of not being liked, um, fear of not being loved, fear of not being worthy. And you might not know it. You might not even know it. Uh, a lot of things I, I discovered have been subconscious or just deep, deep rooted that when you start to really dig into them, you almost have aha moments. And almost every day I'm having an aha moment. You want to call it epiphany, a revelation, a realization, because I am open to wanting to know why, because I want to move on. And I don't want to carry a lot of the things that I've been carrying for a very long time. And some of it's not, not our fault. Uh, some of it has just been childhood. Some of it has been society. Some of it has been past trauma. Some of it's PTSD. Some of it is, you know, depression and anxiety and just our mind taking over and creating fears and thoughts that really don't exist. So I really think that diving into all of this and bringing other people on to share that we are really all going through a lot of the same things and there's no reason to do it alone. So I hope that you guys will really start to follow and listen more and you'll start to see a lot more little clips and more posts from me on my Instagram personal page and also on the Millennial from some of the stuff that I will be doing also with Billy and his segments now with Money Talk, um, the talk we should have had, which is like the birds and the bees. And I'm really happy that he's really finding his way and being able to use his voice and purpose for wanting to help people in the financial world and uh, younger younger couples and setting the, setting the foundation for people's finances because A, it's one of the things that I still need work on. Um, you know, we talked about doing some workshops and we talked about even doing some conferences and a big millennial event later this year. So really a lot of great things in the works. And I just feel for me personally, I've been afraid to put this all out there and share a lot of the things that are very personal to me, but I'm not afraid anymore. And I hope that you will um, understand that once we really embrace who we are, who we want to be, uh, we really start to become that person. And there's greatness all inside of us. Um, you know, the podcast that I listen to, Lewis Howe's Daily Motivation in the Morning, it's 10 minutes, and his School of Greatness. He has a book coming out too. And 
it's just been life changing listening to people who are um, really diving into their greatness. And I really want that for everybody else. And the work that, um, you know, I've done on myself has just really been um, something that is has really bought, brought some incredible people into my life and incredible mentors and coaches. And, um, you know, I call all these podcast hosts my friends. And I really think that sharing all of this to be able to um, allow other people to have the same experience is what really I, um, I, I really want to do. So I hope you'll, you'll come along on the journey and um, you know, it's, it's just a matter of letting go of, of what people think we're not for everybody and that's okay. So the people that want to follow, follow the people that don't, don't, and that's okay. Um, we're not for everybody, but I hope that the people that really do appreciate and, um, and listen and follow and, you'll come on, you'll want to share your stories and, you know, we can all help each other and we can grow together. So have a great rest of the week. Billy and I will be on the millennial tomorrow with special guests. I don't want to give it away, but it's really exciting. And uh, just hopefully that you're on a streaming platform that you can follow us, set your notifications and even just uh, get noti notified that there's a new podcast even out for me for Mel's Mindful, uh, whenever that will be definitely a couple times a week from now on, um, even if they're just really small and little tidbits of nuggets that I just want to share from you, share with you. So uh, thanks, guys. And we really appreciate it. And have a great day.